Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's hit it. 90 and rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Perfect, and banking north now. Gorgeous. All okay in the back there? How's the steak? Yes, damn good. Just flying back over Auckland. Um, over on the far right, you can see the central business district. Uh, as I mentioned in the last flight, Auckland is the largest city in New Zealand with about one and a half million people. It's got a very large Polynesian, Polynesian population. So from the Pacific Islands, Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, and so on. And not Tahiti, of course, because that's, uh, that's French. Um, but uh, on the Cook Islands as well. So you can see both coasts on the left, the Tasman Ocean, and on the right, I know we're banking, but that's the Araki Gulf, which leads into the Pacific Ocean. It's looking out over West Auckland to the Tasman Ocean, which is between New Zealand and Australia. If you're enjoying your flight and want to support our channel, please hit subscribe. It'll really help us. Thank you. Leaving Auckland there, you can see Rangitota, the volcanic island on the left. The uh, Down there, that's Snell's Beach. Quite a popular beach destination. Quite protected though. Protected from the wind and the surf. That's Omaha Beach down there. A lovely little beach. That's uh, Mangafai Heads over there. Um, I keep repeating myself that a place is a very popular beach destination, but they all are, of course, because uh, at least the ones I'm pointing out are all very beautiful. This small hill range in front of us is called the Brindurwins. And I know it's actually grew up around here. Um, we're going to go over the Brindurwins and then up to the Whangarei Harbour. Whangarei is a lovely city, uh, about two and a half hours driving north of Auckland. Autopilot's on, auto throttles on, perfectly on course, four and a half thousand feet. Coming into Whangarei Harbour now. At the point down on the right there, that's an oil refinery, at least it was, but it was closed about two years ago, right in front of us. It was New Zealand's only oil refinery. It just wasn't particularly economic, so they closed it down. I'm going to go off autopilot and hand fly this over Whangarei. Uh, that's the oil refinery down there, the old one. It's the only large town north, north of Auckland, and it's uh, when I say large, it's only about 60, 70,000 people. It's a wonderful place uh, to live. Don't tell everybody, <laughs> because it's got great weather. It's not too cold in the winter, not too hot in the summer and it's surrounded by beautiful beaches to the north and south. Again, thumbs the word. So just uh, get back in the cockpit, uh, go off autopilot, and uh, let's, uh, let's go and have a look at Whangarei. Whangarei is just at the head of the harbour here. It's the Whangarei airport down to the left, small little single runway airport. Take the throttle off a bit as we're descending. That's Whangarei. Great little town. Now let's get back on track. Put a pilot back on. Just got to go and intercept the flight path. Throttle back up. So we're banking it back onto the flight path now up north to Cape Ranga. Well off the coast there are the Poor Knights Islands, a marine reserve full of very special and spectacular temperate water fish and marine life. So not tropical like you'd see in the Pacific Islands or Egypt, but colder water fish, but lots of them and many uh, fish that you wouldn't see around the, well very rarely see around the main coastline of, of uh, New Zealand, you'll see at the, at the Poor Knights Islands. 
So we're going towards Cape Brett, which is at the tip of the Bay of Islands, which you may have heard of. The Bay of Islands is over there in uh, front of us. It's got uh, 140 subtropical islands. And Cape Brett is at this peninsula at the kind of the entrance of it. And it's got a there are boat tours out to the hole in the rock. You l literally can boat through this big hole in the in an island, like an, an arch, um, which is quite pretty. And the Bay of Islands, 140 subtropical islands. A lot of them very small, of course, but it's a great place to visit. And it's home to the historic town of Russell, which was the first capital of New Zealand. And it was a, a den of iniquity uh, with lots of prostitution, gunshots, alcoholism, uh, opium, I believe, at the time. And that is Russell is down, down there to the left. It's very small, so you actually probably can't see it. It's got a only got a few hundred people living there now, but yes, that's Russell, that little bay right in the middle of the screen at the moment. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have many houses in it. Um, it's a nice town. It's got some lovely restaurants along the along the waterfront there. Really nice restaurants. Over to the left there is the town of Waitangi on the coast, and that's where the British and the Maori signed a treaty to create, I guess, the current New Zealand in 1840. And every year that's celebrated, but there are protests about what's happened since, uh, and the relationships sometimes between the Pakeha and the, uh, and the Maori. The Pakeha are the uh, white, um, or the British immigrants, now the European immigrants. This is Whangaroa Harbour between the Bay of Islands and Tautlas Bay. So we're coming up to Manganui. And Manganui's famous for a couple of things. It's a very nice little historic village, but it's also got the Manganui fish and chip shop, the fish shop, uh, which is on a pier out onto the, out onto the water. And it's, um, it's a fantastic place to have New Zealand fish and chips and seafood. This is Doubtless Bay in front of us, this big curve of a bay. And it's called a Doubtless Bay because apparently James Cook, who discovered New Zealand in 1769, he wrote in his diary, Doubtless, this is a bay. So now it's called Doubtless Bay. It's got a lot of orcas and like, killer whales in here. And I've seen them. I was staying at a, staying at a place on, uh, down there in the town. And we just looked down from the Airbnb and there were killer, killer whales about 20 meters offshore. Remarkable. Uh, three of them. Just down here. So you can see the west coast and the east coast at the same time. It's quite skinny here. Yeah. The country is quite skinny. This large bay is called Great Exhibition Bay. It's just stunning up the top of New Zealand. Beaches for as far as you can see with hardly any people on them. The water's quite warm. Magical place. Look how narrow the country is up here. It's got to be... How much? Tw 20 kilometers across? This is still Great Exhibition Bay. Hardly anyone goes up here. There are no big cities. Look at that. Magic. Beautiful. We're looking right towards the top of New Zealand now. Priceless. So below us is Parangaranga Harbour. And again, hardly anyone is here. Straight towards the tip of the country. Now we came up to Cape Reinga, the top of the country. We've got some pretty big sand dunes over to the, just to the west of, uh, just to the west of Cape Reinga, the Tapaki sand dunes. And they have, um, people arrange tobogganing 
down the sand dunes. It's pretty cool. Lovely beach down, down there. So we should be able to see the lighthouse at the, the Cape Ranger. Uh, yep, and going by very fast, and uh, there it is. And you can't see all the tourists, but normally there are a few hundred tourists up there from all around the world. Going around the top of the North Island, so that's Cape Ranger there, another view. And where the two oceans meet, so the Tasman and the Pacific, those are the Topaki sand dunes. And going away from Cape Ranger, where that road is, is going out to the point. And then back down to Kaitaia. So Kaitaia is the most, not the most town, it's not, I suppose it's a city, but no, I think it's too small for an official city. That's where we're going to land. That's basically the most northern, um, most northern airport in New Zealand. That beach in front of us is called 90 Mile Beach. It's not quite 90 miles, but it's a continuous beach for, uh, I think it's like 60 miles. Looking back towards Cape Ranga at 90 Mile Beach. So we've reached the start of our descent now and so we're dropping or declining at uh, 1700 feet per minute. We'll go off autopilot now because it's um, we'll just hand fly to. So as I said Kaitai is a small town at the and near the top of the North Island and it's famous for for cowrie gum so cowrie are the native trees I mentioned in the last video uh, very hard straight native trees and they around the roots they have gum which was used for jewelry and resins and this town actually made a lot of money from from cowrie gum but it's it's not really used anymore, so um, so that source of revenue dried up. The flaps down. Quite a bit of horticulture up here. Gear down. Flaps on full. That's us coming in. Mr. Wrong, mate. Not, not my best landing, but we got there all right. So here we are in Kaitaia, and the next video we go to Australia, to Sydney. That's the maximum range for this aircraft, so hopefully we don't run out of fuel. That video will be on the top right when it's ready. Up the top left is how we got to Auckland uh, from Rotorua.